What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Garrett Dixon. A lot of y'all know me from the Funny Barber videos. I read the comments and a lot of y'all ask, do you really cut hair? Yes, I do this for real. So what I've done is I've created some instructional barber videos to show you how to cut hair. You may be a new barber or you may be an older barber that wants a different technique. I'm here to show you. I got my man Howard coming through to get an even haircut against the grain. Let's take a look and let's make some magic. Today we're going to learn, we're going to cut an uh, even haircut against the grain. Um, when you go against the grain, it's actually easier because against the grain, it gets all of that hair and cuts it nice and even. Some clients don't like their haircut against the grain. Um, you know, feel what type of client you have. Some of them just want you to cut their hair even with the grain, but I would suggest that you tell them even against the grain gives it a smoother cut and it makes sure that all the hair goes off the same way and it's just easy just take that that guard just go against it nice and smooth nice and smooth for you beginner barbers this is the easiest haircut to do you can practice this haircut on your family member your little brother your little cousin your uncle that you don't like you can practice this on all of them now notice how Howard, he has a swirl in his hair. So see how when I comb it back, there's a swirl. So anytime you run up against a swirl, a lot of people get nervous. Just go against the grain of that swirl. That'll get some nice, nice and tight. I recommend for you new barbers that this is the first haircut that you learn how to do. Because it's very hard. I mean, you can do it. It's very hard to mess up an even haircut. It can be done. I've done it myself. <clears throat> but for you young barbers out there, this is a good one to grab your little brother while your parents aren't looking and just tie his ass up on the wall or wherever you want to tie him up and just cut it like this. For you single moms out there who uh, want to cut your son's hair and it might be too expensive to take him to the barber shop, you can go ahead and grab some clippers, go to your local Target or Walmart, Get some clippers and you can do this haircut. It's very easy. Just go right, right against the grain. The hair's going to fall off. As long as you keep that guard in there, you'll be good. For you dudes out there that really don't have that much money and you still want to look good for the ladies, go ahead and get you some clippers. Cut it even. I shouldn't be telling you this because I'm taking money out the barber's pocket, but hey, I'm all about the people. I like to say be balling on a budget. Okay, so now we look. Now we got it nice and even. The next thing and the most important part to this haircut is the shape up. You look at all your angles, everything looks nice. Look at his hair is all even all the way around. So what you want to do next is we're gonna do uh, we're gonna do a neck taper. So what we're gonna do with this, uh, we even it all the way around. So we're going around the back of his head. Uh, for beginning barbers, uh, this is easy to do. You don't have to worry about the fade or anything. You just want to round it. Like I said, if it's a single mom out there, you want to cut your son's hair. One thing you do is just start from here. I like to start from the corner. Create that circle. Get it real nice. Clean the back of that neck. Nobody likes hair left on the back of their neck. And just follow his natural line. His or her natural line. Follow his or her natural line. Grab that ear, move that ear over. Like I said, you want to keep the ear line as natural as possible. Some clients get mad when you take that airline up real high. So you just go, it's just like drawing, it's easy. Always be confident when you're cutting hair. The clients, they can feel when you're not confident. They know, people in the chair, believe me, they know who can cut their hair good and who doesn't cut their hair good. They can feel it. My recommendation um, for the edge ups and the skin in the hair, you want to get the um, Andy 
T-liners or the outliner tubes. Those are the best uh, shape up clippers or line up clippers to get. The Andy's outliners or the, T, the outliner tubes or the T-outliner. <clears throat> and we just doing the circular motions, just like when you were a kid and you learn how to draw circles, the same thing. You're just doing it with clippers. And this is for this is good for like beginning bar. This is good for beginning barbers who uh, you might be a little bashful or, or fade in the neck or whatever. So you want to do something nice and simple. This is it. no pressure at all. Okay, most important part of the haircut is the edge up. Remember, don't push the hairlines back. It's always good. I like to start on the arc first. So you look at where the natural hair is. And it's just like drawing, just follow that line. But one of the secrets is to Stretch the skin. Stretch the skin, you get a lot of that hair. And it makes it nice and crisp, nice and sharp. Your clients will love you when you give them a nice shake up. Or line up whatever region you're in, whatever you call it. They, they love it. Gives them confidence. Okay, as I look at it, for you new barbers or any other barbers, this is where we want to stay right here on a natural line. This is happy, this natural line. Back here, this is angry. Happy, angry. This will get you in a fight back here. This will get you tips, okay? So let's go. Let's stay with that natural line. I'll always pick a side to start on. I like to start personally from the left side. doing the goatee you can you'll know your clients I, I know Howard so he likes to keep his goatee full uh, when people like to keep their goatee full you want to keep it as natural as possible you don't want to go in too much because that will upset them so you want to keep it nice and natural you stay up high the lip line is, is very important you don't want people to have hair in their lip but they feel it when they talk Stay natural. Some clients, you'll see, they don't like to look too groomed. So they barely want you to touch it. It's all about what they want. If somebody wants you to give them a bowl cut, then hey, you give them a bowl cut. Now, don't take pictures of it and post it, but give them what they want. So I had a client one time that wanted a mohawk. And if you're on YouTube now, which this video is on, so you're obviously on YouTube, um, Google, the Jeffersons and look up George Jefferson. This client's hairline was like George Jefferson and he wanted a mohawk. I had to tell him I'm a barber, not God. I can't perform miracles. So sometimes you gotta be honest with your clients because don't forget that's where you are. You are the barber. You are the hair doctor. You let them know what's realistic. Okay, we good. Hey, what's up, y'all? This is your boy, Garrett, and you watch my instructional video, how to give an even haircut against the grain. Hey, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hey, and if you're a barber, you need that gear, I got it. My Money Makers Apparel. Got hats, t-shirts, and barber tops. Hey, thanks for subscribing. I'll see y'all next time. Ow!